Hello, everyone. We're here today to talk about our book with Lever Press, Elizabeth Bishop and the Literary Archive, which came out at the beginning of this year. Here with me to talk about the book are some of the contributors, Richard Flynn, Elise Knorr, Yal Schlick, Heather Tressler, and John Emil Vincent. Lever Press became the perfect scholarly platform for this work for several reasons. First and foremost, I strongly believe in the open access model for scholarship, which has the potential to reach a much larger audience, a global audience, and to be more equitable and inclusive. Second, it allowed us to present a large number of representative high resolution digital images from the archive to illustrate Bishop's poetic practice and to provide a taste of the archive's riches. Third, Lover Press's commitment to the liberal arts meshes well with the history of Bishop's archives. The bulk of Bishop's papers, for one thing, are housed in a liberal arts setting, that is Vassar College, and their purchase in 1981 was part of the college's larger liberal arts mission to support the use of primary documents in undergraduate research. Fourth, I have spent my entire teaching career in liberal arts colleges, most recently at Williams College, where I make use of the college's special collections in most of my classes, also supporting the use of primary documents in undergraduate research. And finally, I was able to use our Lover Press volume, Elizabeth Bishop in the Literary Archive, immediately as a foundational critical text in the spring when I taught a seminar class on Bishop in the Americas at Williams. Open access makes it so much easier to use scholarly work in the classroom, but the pandemic made this volume indispensable. Because of the pandemic, my students were sent home in March, we all went online, and we were unable to take our planned trip to Vassar in April to visit the archives. But this volume made it possible for my students to still experience the Bishop Archive in a meaningful way.